My name is Damien Clifford. Uh, I'm a postdoctoral research fellow here at the ANU College of Law and I'm involved in the development of the ANU Ninian Stephen Cyber Law Program. So the course is split over nine days, uh, over a two week period, um, so they're nine half days um, and it uh, is split into hypothetical discussions of hypotheticals and expert presentations dealing with particular subject uh, areas that are relevant uh, for the data privacy uh, discussion. It, it kind of takes a range of views, uh, both uh, the law here in Australia, some comparative insights internationally, but also some policy perspectives on where we can see the law going in the future in this jurisdiction, given that it is really an area in flux. It, it's very much a, a, a fact of life that in any sort of sort of commercial enterprise you're, you're looking to have to deal with uh, the use of data, the use of personal information, so concerns about privacy and the way in which an individual's information is managed. Um, that's all an important element of, of what um, a commercial lawyer needs to, needs to think about. Data use is across every spectrum of business, you know, so you have it as part of your business model if you're actually trading in technologies that rely on huge amounts of data. But even if you're not a technology-focused company, you still generate a huge amount of data just by simply operating. So these matters are relevant for all parts, all businesses to varying extents. It provides insights to people, uh, lawyers in particular, who really need to understand the risks, the business risks that go around data use and the use of different technologies such as cloud computing, which um, then generate um, problems for their clients. As part of the course, I'm looking at the COVID Safe app, uh, which was developed in response to the pandemic, um, and which we've, you know, starting to see increasing use of. Um, but I'll be talking about the way in which that app was developed, and in particular, the various uh, privacy risks and, and concerns about security that were identified as part of that development process. Um, so I'll be looking at the role of privacy impact assessments in particular. You'll be able to spot issues, be able to identify them and identify where you potentially don't have the expertise in some areas and where you would need um, extra insights. Um, and really by giving you um, a good grounding in some of the emerging issues and problems around technology use and the ubiquity of data, uh, associated ubiquity of data, um, that you, know, you will be able to identify them and appreciate those risks.